Good morning everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to learn how the Holy Spirit is our comforter. But before we start with the lesson, let's sing a few songs together.
verse from today comes from John 13 verse 16 where Jesus tells the disciples and I will ask the father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever just going to repeat that and I will ask the father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever in this verse Jesus talks about a counselor but it also means a comforter so Jesus promises us that once he's going to heaven, his father will send someone that will still help us. Some of you may be embarrassed to admit it, but most of you might have had a security blanket or security toy when you were smaller. There's no reason to be embarrassed about that. Did you know that studies have shown that more than half of all children become attached to a teddy bear, a favorite blanket, or any other object that helps to comfort them when they are feeling upset, when they are lonely, when they are afraid, when they are sick. Even scientific studies have proven what kids already know. And that is that a teddy bear or security blanket can give great comfort, especially at bedtime, when you are sick, or when you are separated from your parents. Jesus understood that we all need help in times of trouble. When he was here on earth, he was a source of help and comfort to all his disciples. When he was preparing to return to heaven, he knew that there would be times when disciples would need help and comfort and that he would not be there to give it to them. Let's read what happened. We're going to read from John 14, verse 15 to 21. Jesus promises the Holy Spirit, If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you will also live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. The Bible tells us that Jesus told his disciples that he would ask his Father to send them another comforter that would stay with them forever. That is exactly what he did. He asked the Father, and the Father sent the Holy Spirit. God's Holy Spirit is with us in times of trouble. He is there to comfort and to guide us. I don't know about you guys, but I am glad that Jesus asked God to send the Holy Spirit to comfort me when I am afraid or sick or lonely. My teddy bear or my blanket, whatever object you've got, may get lost or become ragged and torn, but... Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit would be with us forever. We may outgrow our need for a teddy bear or a security blanket. At least we don't carry it around all the time anymore. But we never outgrow the need for comfort and guidance of God's Holy Spirit. We need it every moment of every day. And Jesus knew that. That's why he asked his father, to send the Holy Spirit as comforter to us. Let's end today's lesson with another song.
else with us. We thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to be our comfort and our guide. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like the other weeks, we've got some activities on the website that you can ask your parents to download. I also have a nice little craft activity that you can do at home as well, where you can make your own little comforter Blanket. So what you're going to need is a piece of fabric about this size. Then we're going to need a little piece of paper with these words on. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. 
or any words that will remind you that the Holy Spirit is your comfort and Jesus sent him. And then a piece of string. What we're going to do is we're going to put the little piece of paper on the fabric. I already did that. Just I just used normal glue. You put the string at the back and then we're just going to fold it over, fold it over and tie the ribbons. And then we've got our own little comfort blanket with Jesus' promise inside. I hope you guys have a great week and looking forward to see you again next week.